Uh, g'day, Riversdale members. Um, I hope that everyone's okay and uh, keeping well at this time. Um, certainly missing the golf club and wish we could get out there uh, sooner, hopefully very soon. But um, in the meantime, I thought I'd just show you that we've been doing a little bit of practice at home here uh, in the garage. A little bit messy and we've got quite a few boxes of stuff lying around. But um, what we've been able to do is create a little bit of a hitting area here with um, just put an old sheet up. Nothing too fancy, but uh, it's quite effective. We've got, a mirror, got ourselves a mirror that we can look at our swings in. Um, but most importantly, coming out here most days, hitting 20 or 30 shots at a time, and probably doing that about maybe three times a day just to keep the swing in check and have a bit of fun with the game, and certainly can't wait to get back out there and play properly. Um, I do think I'd just like to show you one quick drill that uh, I think might be quite helpful that you can work on whilst you're at home. If you haven't got anywhere to swing at home or anywhere to hit balls at home, um, you can always hit some shots just by having a swing in the backyard. That will still be very helpful. If you can't swing in the backyard, you can only swing at home, maybe just hold down the club a little bit. That way you can swing inside potentially without hitting the roof or hitting any walls. But I think swing the club when you can, work on your positions of your swing, and when we do get back to play, we'll still be in, in good shape. Um, now, a little drill I'd like to show you, that one that uh, I learned from Steve Band many years ago, that's, that I felt really helpful at the time, to work on your swing path, coordinating your arms and your um, body together. And um, hopefully it will, you'll find this it's, it's helpful as well. So the idea of the drill, from our setup position, we swing to the top, we bring our arms back down, halfway back down, where the club's parallel to the ground and also parallel to the target line. That's called our delivery position. So from there we'll go back to the top, we'll do that one more time, and then we go back to the top, and then we hit through. The idea on the way through, we'd like to finish with the club facing the target, our body facing the target, and the club directly in line. That shows us that we've got a pretty good swing path coming through impact, and it's always a good way to work on your swing. I've had Nicholas, uh, my son, doing that drill as well, and it's really helped his game. I'll just show you how that drill would look in real time. So we go up to the top, come down, up to the top, come down, and then hit. So I hope that uh, that drill helps you a little bit. Um, if you do have any um, questions on your golf game at all, please feel free to send me a message, um, text message or an email, video your swing and send it through if you'd like. I can get back to you with some tips. Um, but yeah, certainly hope that we can all get out and play golf at Riversdale again very soon. Take care. Thank you.